today was special because this is sort of a first time meeting and also a reunion of these four different cornerstones, being Jen, our artist, Sisters of Service, which are the cultural support team, U.S. military women, FTPs, which are the Afghan women, and Command Purpose, which kind of helps women veterans through transitional periods. And so it's a really special opportunity to just all come together. The CSTs used to solely deploy with U.S. Uh, special Operations Forces, and they didn't have an Afghan female counterpart at first. The CSTs decided, hey, it'd be really helpful if we trained Afghan women to be able to do the same job we're doing. So in the event that we ever left Afghanistan and the war continued, like the Afghan army would have a, a group of women who can continue to do the job that we're doing. So that's how the FTP started. I think why the relationship is so close is how small the unit is. Probably under 100 CSTs in the U.S. Army. There's only about 50 probably total. Uh, FTP, so just a small cohort of women, you're able to create bonds that are, I think, lifelong, lifelong bonds. We're here in Buda, Texas because a good friend of mine, Jen Hassan, who is an incredible artist, who's also a veteran, specializes in providing people with voices when they don't even know what to say. Erin and I had a conversation about what we could do to help these women, and I just bluntly said I would love to make artwork with them. Now that's what we're doing. And providing community and providing this amazing space to embrace and understand and process the transition that they're in. So I'm very interested in clothing and the memory that clothing holds. So we start off with clothing that's attached to a memory. And sometimes those memories can be tough or traumatic. It goes through this transformative process that we cut up the clothing and then we put the clothing into water in a machine called the Hollander Beater. With the water and that material, turn it on and then it becomes pulp. That pulp gets uh, mixed in with more water and then we run it through a screen. Then it gets pressed down onto felt, and then that creates a sheet of paper. I think that there's something about recycling this specific material that's tied to somebody's memory of a point in their life that's so specific and has so much meaning that we could take that and then transform it into a material to make art. When making pulp paintings and thinking about using this material, that it's almost like finger painting, but in a three-dimensional form. We're using our hands, where you're taking a material and you're manipulating it. And we use our hands to do that. And this material has a memory that's attached to it inherently, even though we've beaten it to a pulp quite literally. And that pulp still holds this like evidence of something that has happened. I find it fascinating that this material can then be part of what turns into this like physical form of a memory. My hope is that that transformation, the energy that they pour into it, is something that they can reflect on through this visual. Part of my philosophy of just that um, trauma can be transformed into good. Through Jen's art, we were able to find a way to take a chapter of the FTP's lives and turn it into something beautiful because when you have to flee your country, you lose a lot. And for them, one of the things they feel like they've lost is their identity. And I think showing them that they can take materials related to something really special to them and create it into something beautiful is, is important. Releasing some of the trauma or sadness and creating it into something beautiful with the people you care about. Project Raha, which means release in the Dari language, is something that we even come up with ourselves and it's something that has evolved over time as we've done this project. 
Manaz, who's the commander of the female tactical platoon, said to us when we first met her that art releases you from the jail that you're in. When I was like uh, about like 13 or 14 years old girl, like I really would like to drawing. Um, I did a lot of drawing, especially animals in Afghanistan, and I free myself or release myself, my heart, my brain. Like I match my brain with my heart. Sometimes I try to draw and it helps me to feel that I just uh, release myself from jail. It reminds me when I was in Afghanistan, we worked together, like all FTP together, eating together, have fun together. It's like, it doesn't matter where we are, but it's like we are in together. When I was in Afghanistan, uh, there was, um, uh, my house was like next to the mountain and the sunshine, uh, the sun was the front of my uh, house. And the morning when the sun come out, it's like, this is like this, yeah. We were so happy that we could express our feeling and we could make some art. Like for example, today is um, National Flag Day in my country and just I could express my feeling and I made this beer with the uh, Afghan flag color. Coming together can show us and show the FTPs that we can create beautiful things out of the traumatic things that we live through. It's therapeutic, it's important. It reminds us of what we're doing and why it matters and why we should keep doing it. Just the opportunity to see them smile and laugh and be with each other is a really, something I'd never thought I'd see again. You know, when you leave Afghanistan after a deployment, you think, oh, I'm never gonna see these people again, probably. It's really about like, how can you stop and reflect and, and just look back on the past two years, the past 10 years, just our, our whole time together. I don't know how else to say it other than like from the bottom of my heart and like everything inside of me, it feels really good to make work that matters and that um, people really need to see um, and they would be privileged to see. When we came here to United States, like we work not just as a colleague, like not, like we work as a sister. Like a lot of FTPs that they are here, like they call each other like sisters. I just want the world to see how beautiful these sisters in, in service are, and how they can help the world process what happened two years ago and beyond. I think it's an extension of what Command Purpose Foundation has always been trying to do, which is empower people to embrace the process of transition. It's a, it's a way of doing that through art.